Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring your weekly forecast for uh, June 21st to June 28th. Uh, so guys, remember these are for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. So let's just jump right in. Actually, before we get started, let me do your intuitive message. Okay, Aries. So there's going to be a new opportunity or a fresh start. Um, it's going to be through a message, um, a message of love that's going to make you very happy. Okay, so it's either a new opportunity, so it's somebody may be completely new, okay, or it's going to be a fresh start with someone else. Um, and it's going to come in a form of a message, all right? Okay, let's jump right in. And guys, remember these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone, so check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Okay, so what's going on in my Aries romantic love life for the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th, please? Okay, so I'll throw that down. Okay, let's get these shuffled here. What's going on, my Aries romantic love life for the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th of June, please? And let's throw that one down. Okay. And what's going on, my Aries romantic love interest? For their romantic love life for the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th, please. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. All right. So I'm going to make sure I throw all these cards down so I make sure I can keep track of where we're at. All right. So we're working on first the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd. Okay, so it looks like on the 21st, uh, it looks like you're going to get a wish that you've been hoping for, okay? You're coming out as the high priestess energy, so possibly this could be something spiritual in nature with the high priestess. It could be something pertaining to a secret. And your uh, love interest is coming out as the devil. Now, this could be bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination here with them. Okay. Or it could be something to do with a strong attraction. So let's kind of see because we're saying, a Spirit is saying you're going to get your wish here. So let's see what this is about. Why is the devil card here? 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 So it's something to do with um, someone looking over their options or something to do with competition. Five of Wands energy that they're worried and anxious about. Okay, so they're having, they're being, uh, um, they're attached to you and they are feeling a little bit um, like they have something to do with competition. Um, either that or they're feeling like they had an argument with you and they're really worried and anxious about it. And uh, they're feeling like, you know, really low about it. So let's kind of get one more card on that. What's the devil card about? What's the devil card about? What's the devil card about? So an indecision. So either it's around an argument or dispute or it's something to do with um, uh, you and options and, and worried about competition here and them feeling indecisive about things. They're feeling a lot of worry and anxiety about this. Um, so, and you have the High Priestess. Let's find out where you have the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? So it looks like there's something to do with some kind of regret. Five of Cups energy pertaining to the past. Six of Cups energy. So it looks like you're using your intuition because you're having something to do with some kind of regrets about the past pertaining to a reconciliation, pertaining to somebody from your past. Six of Cups energy. But Spirit is saying you're going to get your wish here. So I think that what's going on is maybe the other person um, is feeling like they have competition that they're dealing with and they're feeling maybe down about it, depressed about it. They're feeling very attached to you and um, they're feeling like it's, you know, it's, it's not going to work out in their favor, basically. 
and or it could be the other way because remember take it as it resonates it could be also that the person is trying to figure out what they want um, and they're examining their options and you're feeling like I need to use my intuition here there's something secret going on but spirit saying you're gonna get your wish because this person is gonna go for you okay so let's put this aside all right so now we got the 22nd this is all about love on this day the 22nd all right so let's see what's going on with your energies so you have the princess of cups or the page of cups so this represents messages of love or a new path in love the page of cups and i can even see that this person is this longing and waiting there you can see for this message yeah okay let's see what's going on the person you're dealing with or your love interest has the sun card which tells me that they're definitely feeling happy towards you they're definitely feeling like you know this is a good thing and obviously spirit is saying there's love here so it looks like you're receiving a message because of the fact that the person that you're dealing with is really happy or you're giving them a message with the page of cups let's just see here why is the sun card here why is the sun card here why is the sun card here it's definitely someone that feels like you are a wise choice when it comes to love, King of Cups energy. And they feel like they want to defend this. They feel like they have the higher ground here in this situation. And they've made a choice here, Two of Wands energy. So they've made a choice to defend this because they feel that you're a wise choice when it comes to love. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles, it looks like there could be discussion about some kind of long-term thing or something to do with surrounding family. And you're definitely feeling victorious here with the um, the five of, uh, excuse me, six of wands energies. And the, the five of swords shows me there's some kind of change. Somebody decided to stand up and fight for this. So obviously on this day, this is a really good day, guys. So let's keep it moving here. All right, and that was for the 22nd. So let's see what's going on, on the 23rd. So it looks like it's going to be a day about courage here. Something to do with strength and courage. So let's see what's going on here. Eight of swords. So you kind of feel like you're a little bit trapped in your thoughts. You feel like your hands are tied here. You're not really wanting to face things. You can see this person doesn't really want to face their thoughts. Okay, that's your energy. Your love interest energy is waiting. They're waiting for their ships to come. They're waiting for the key here to open the door. So let's see. Spirit is saying have courage. I know you feel like your hands are tied here. You feel like you don't want to face your thoughts, but you need to have courage in this situation on the 23rd, okay? Let's kind of see what's going on here. Why is the Eight of Arrows or the Eight of Swords here, please? Show my card I need to see. Show my card I need to see. So you feel like something to do with finances here with the nine of pentacles or something to do with someone being single and available. You're having, you know, feeling like your hands are tied when this situation you're contemplating about things, the queen of pentacles, you know, you're kind of thinking and contemplating, is this a good, you know, person to give my pentacle to? There's a very nurturing energy going on here with the queen of pentacles. There's a lot of contemplation um, and thinking and patience here when it comes to long-term commitment. Um, pertaining to a soulmate connection choice towards love here okay and what's going on with this three of wands energy what's going on with this three of wands energy so they're waiting for the ships to come in they're waiting for the key they want to make a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment they feel like something is not balanced within them or they're feeling like they're not getting an equal give and take they've been a little bit patient about that and it looks like the emperor energy here it's something to do with work with the emperor or something to do with them wanting to take control of things or someone wants to take control of things to kind of move things forward here but i would say in this situation since they're waiting i would say that they're kind of allowing things to unfold and possibly maybe the, the that's what you're feeling like you don't want to face your thoughts about you feel like they should take more control about the situation and you're feeling like your hands are tied to do anything about it 
Okay, so now let's do the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th. And remember guys, stick with me till the end. I'm going to do an overall. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross and I'm going to get some advice with the Romance Angels. So it looks like on this day, on the 24th, you're feeling like you are in paradise. Nothing can mess with you on this day. You have the Five of Wands energy. Excuse me, the Five of Swords energy. Yeah, see, it's arrows. <laughs> so Five of Swords energy is saying to me, okay, you're deciding, do I want to stand up and fight for this or do I want to walk away from the situation? And your love interest is coming out as the chariot. So it looks like they want to take charge. They want to be victorious with this. They're charging towards you here with the chariot card. But you're kind of in the mode of like, all right, I'm kind of like feeling good today. Um, I don't know. Do I want to stand up and fight for this or walk away? But your love interest is like, hey, look, I'm going to come at you. I want to be victorious in this situation with you. So let's kind of see what's going on here. Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? So there's definitely a debate about do you want to be single and available here or were you working on your finances, Knight of Pentacles? And you're trying to figure out what is a good offer of love here, Ace of Cups energy. And you're definitely being patient. You're thinking, do I want to give my cup of love? Do I not want to give my cup of love kind of energy going on with you? And why is the cherry card here? And why is the cherry card here? Okay, thank you. They want to take charge because they're like, um, this is my soulmate twin flame connection. I want to make a choice towards love. I want to be victorious here in my romantic love life. I'm going to do what I got to do. Okay, now we're on to the 25th here. This is here where your energy is. So something to do with money here. Okay, you're dealing with money on this day on the 25th. And let's see your love interest. Wow, you both have the same kind of energy going on this day. You have the Nine of Wands, uh, excuse me, Nine of Swords energy. Okay, they have the Knight of Swords energy. So both of you guys are kind of in a situation when you're feeling a lot of worry and anxiety. And the money issue seems to be the, uh, the theme here on this day, on the 25th. Huh. So let me get a little bit more information on what this whole money thing is about here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Something to do with waiting for your ships to come in. Three of Wands because something sudden happened. Okay, so this represents some kind of sudden change that, that you, it looks like you and your love interest are both dealing with this. So you must be working on this together um, because you both have the same energies about this worry and anxiety and waiting because of something sudden that happened. Um, you're taking some time out for yourself to kind of contemplate and think about things. And the money issue seems to be the issue here. So why is the Nine of Swords over here for your love interest? Something to do with something from the past, Six of Cups energy, and them feeling like they want to be right about something. Six of Wands and Five of Swords says somebody wants to either stand up and fight or walk away because of this. Huh. Okay. There may be some regret here. All right, so be aware of that. That was for the 25th. All right, so let's see. What's going on on the 26th here? Okay, your love interest. So Spirit is saying take care of yourself on this day. Make sure you eat right. Make sure you balance yourself. You know, take care of yourself on this day. It looks like you have the Ten of Swords energy or the Ten of Arrows energy, as this card says. So the Ten of Swords is saying to me, okay, you've been hurt by something. You felt like you were backstabbed. You're coming out of it, though, but you definitely feel hurt about something. And Spirit wants you to take care of your health on this day. Your love interest is dealing with a wish and a hope, the Star card. So let's kind of see what's going on here. Why is the Ten of Arrows here? Why is the Ten of Arrows here? Why is the Ten of Arrows here? Again, we're talking about waiting for your sips to come in. Something surrounding a long-term commitment, tradition, marriage here with the Hierophant card. 
So why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Again, we're talking about something to do with the past and maybe potentially something to do with a reconciliation, the judgment card. So they want some kind of renewal and healing. That's what their wish and hope is. Uh, pertaining to somebody from their past, Six of Cups, or reconciliation here. And you're feeling like hurt. You're just like, I'm just going to wait to see what's going to happen with the situation. All right. Now let's see what's going on with the 27th and the 28th. 27th and the 28th. All right, so it looks like on this day, something is, uh, this is, by the way, for the 27th, something to do with destiny for you. And this destiny has to do with you weighing some options, two of pentacles energy. This is your energy. Their energy is coming out like they're doing something pertaining to work, school, apprenticeship here, eight of pentacles. They're putting some kind of work in and they're deciding, do they want to harvest something? You can see the scythe there, this is Lenormand slash Chero. Some kind of scythe is there, so it's saying there's some kind of sudden decision. Do they want to put the work in? Do they want to harvest something? All right, so let's see what's going on here. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> So work, school, apprenticeship are putting the work in Eight of Pentacles. So you're weighing your options. Do I want to put the work in? I'm a little bit indecisive about what to do here. Uh, I'm trying to come to a decision and a justice here, a truth with the justice card. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? So there's something to do with heartache here. Three of Swords energy. Hmm heartache or something that's not quite right and something that's being offered that doesn't want to be accepted here hmm mm -mm -mm. okay what's going on with you guys what's going on with you guys okay let's keep it moving here so it looks like for the 28th you're going to be celebrating something. Maybe you're going out somewhere. Maybe you're celebrating something with family. Maybe you're going out with friends. Some kind of celebration is going on on the 28th. It looks like you're also in the mode of, again, trying to make some kind of choice here, a decision, two of a wands energy. You're, one, you're uh, deciding which one's going to be more passionate for you because remember, wands are all about passion, creativity. And your love interest is having the High Priestess card here. It's something to do with secret or them using their intuition. Let's see what your choice is about here. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Page of Pentacles represents messages of some kind of long-term commitment or new path of long-term commitment or younger uh, Earth sign person towards Virgo Capricorn. And something pertaining to love, the Empress, and you wanting to make wise choices, the King of Swords energy. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep this moving here. All right, let's do the, the uh, Celtic cross now for you guys. Okay. Okay, that feels good. All right, what's going on with my Aries romantic love life from June 21st to the 28th? What's going on with their current romantic love life? What's their blockage? What's their strength? What's something from the past effect for the current love state? Who's coming towards them romantically that they would be interested in? And what is going to be the immediate outcome for my Aries for their romantic love life for June 21st to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's the current, the blockage. The strength, past. Who's coming towards you? Hmm, looks good. And that's the outcome there. At the bottom of the deck, it looks like the six of swords energy. It looks like you're moving into calmer waters. There's a light at the end of the tunnel for you guys. All right, let me shuffle these real quick. Okay going on here so something surrounding a work or putting the work in eight of pentacles school work apprenticeship here okay eight of pentacles that's what's currently going on something to do with putting the work in or doing something repetitive here you can see that person's working on something 
All right, and the blockage seems to be the Queen of Wands here, okay? Queen of Wands energy. So this could be you guys because obviously you're a fire sign person. Um, this also could be another fire sign person. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo here. But what is the Queen of Wands? It's, it's something to do with someone who wants to be patient and kind of think about who's going to be the most passionate uh, person for them to go for. So they're kind of being patient. They're holding back on their passions, right? And it's also a, a card about someone who's attractive. So you're looking at this person's attractive, they're sexy, you know, they're, they're creative here. All right, because the Queen of Wands is a very attractive, sexy, creative person. So could be you that is blocking things out pertaining to putting the work in. Your strength actually is the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This energy says your strength is figure out who you want to give your cup of love to, okay? Do I want to give my cup of love to this person? Do I want to give my cup of love to that person? Because obviously it seemed like you had a lot of choices, right? In the past, you may have been dealing with your soulmate connection, two of cups energy, or a choice that you had to make towards love, two of cups energy. Who is coming toward you? Well, we have the page of wands, okay? The page of wands, or this card says princess of staffs. Um, so it looks like some kind of messages of passion coming towards you, or a new path and passion is coming towards you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, they are, they're, and this, this uh, card is actually, this person's on the horse. So they're charging at you right there. You see that? They're definitely charging there. Um, what is going to be the outcome here? It looks like someone's going to contemplate, who do I want to have a long-term commitment with? Queen of uh, Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that there could actually be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in play here. It looks like you're in a situation where you're trying to figure out what option to choose. So it looks like you have quite a few options here. And obviously your strength is you have to figure out who you want to give your cup of love to, Aries. So let me get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice for my Aries romantic love life for... June 21st to the 28th, please. What should they do? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So very soon, you're going to have to clearly decide what you want here. And let's look at your strength. Your strength is saying, decide who you want to give your cup of love to, Aries. And um, it's saying something to do with flirting, extending your lighthearted energy. So very soon, you're going to have to figure out who you want to be with you, who you want to flirt with. Um, and if you want to extend your lighthearted, flirted energy to someone. So very soon you're going to have to decide this. And obviously the person coming toward you, there's some kind of messages of passion here or a new path and passion that you're feeling really passionate about. So you'll have to figure out this very soon. You're going to have to decide this because obviously you look like you're a little bit in your head about which options to choose here. Okay. All right, my darlings, um, I thank you again for watching me. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading, because remember these are general, they're not going to resonate with everyone. Check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign for more information. Um, and also, you can get a personal reading with me by going to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or checking out the description box below. I love you guys so much. Have a great month, okay?